For Joy Bucklin, a day at the office is noisy. Test firing guns in the ballistics lab. But most of her hours are spent in silence here. A case could take us five minutes or it could take us five days. She says her department can't get caught up in any of the drama around a case. We only deal with the evidence, you know, mm -hmm. so we don't know a lot of any of the details. When bullets fly in real life, each gun leaves behind its own fingerprint, both on the bullet and the shell casing. All that equipment in the ballistics lab helps technicians see those fingerprints. These are two shell casings from bullets you saw Buckland test fire for us from the same gun. What we look at is the overall pattern of what the gun leaves behind. The images from the microscope of those patterns are butted together as she shows us the similar pattern the gun left behind on both casings. The peaks and valleys, the height of them, the width of them, and their spatial relationship to each other. So when you look at these two, do you conclude that they were fired by the same gun? Yes. Part of a three-year, $800,000 grant from the Bureau of Justice Assistance means TPD gets to buy another one of these Nibin machines. It links bullets and the guns that fired them to crime scenes across the state. It's a machine that you put a cartridge case in. It takes pictures of it. Right now, only two police departments in the state do their own ballistics work, OKC and Tulsa. But everyone else across the state uses OSBI, and every time there's a crime with a gun, an officer from that department has to drive it to the OSBI lab in Oklahoma City. The new Nibin machine at TPD will be available for other law enforcement agencies to use closer to home. For OSBI, they're submitting it and having to wait for their backlog. There's still some agencies, including this one up until very recently, that weren't you know, submitting for Nibin testing. Tulsa County Sheriff Vic Regalado says his deputies will be using TPD's new machine. We can come here, have a quicker turnaround, um, and, and in turn um, be able to do investigative follow-up in a much quicker process. He says that process can be tedious, especially if OSBI has a backlog. TPD doesn't have a backlog. It should be a lot faster. From a sheriff's perspective, the benefits of local investigators being able to use Nibin been quickly is twofold. Being able to link crimes, especially in the gang world. You know, oftentimes gang members use the same weapon in different shooting crimes. But it's more than just finding the right person to lock up. It's also about preventing future crime. If you have a series of shootings, hopefully we can get that to that person before they continue to the sixth shooting. It also means the TPD ballistics department <laughs> can help ease the burden of OSBI, which does major investigative work for most agencies across the state. Covering news that matters, Lynn Casey, Fox 23 News.